Hey everybody, welcome to Galaxy Odyssey. I am joined by Sarah. Hello. I think, Sarah, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I said this last episode, this is our first time doing an episode just the two of us, huh? Yeah, that thunder wasn't ominous at all. Um, <laughs> it knows, it knows. <laughs> so, um, I have upgraded... I have upgraded the site so friggin' much since our last episode. Yeah, Would you, you like have. a brief tour before our mission? Let's do it. Sweet. So I I will try not to over talk you because I know that's a thing I do. He 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 he. Oh, uh, first things first. Take off your armor. I want to see your new skin. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. that's awesome. <gasps> Aren't I cute? Dude, you are very cute. And uh, with that sword in your hands, you're just deadly. Do you like my my bow? Can you see my I bow? do. Your bow is great, and I love the uh, the okay. crescent on the front. It's adorable. My little sailor. Everything is adorable. Speaking of moon, uh -huh. I think it might be Hello. nighttime. Ooh. Let's go to sleep, and I'll uh, I'll move us on to the tour. How's that? All right. Oh, I forgot. I was gonna use a sleeping bag. We have actual beds. <laughs> I thought it would probably be good to set my uh, restore you point spawn. here. Yeah, spawn. That's the word. That's the word. Okay, so we, we have an ultimate mission, but I'll show you the um, the compound really quickly. Okay. Because uh, I think I have a pretty good grip on what I have done since our last episode. And it's been a long friggin' time coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, first things first. This is the Trory Dome. Uh, this... I wanted this to be a rooftop botanical garden. And then I realized that you can grow some flowers... And, to, and turn them into dyes. So I have a dye farm. So I can make any of the dyes I need. Um, I'm missing the gray ones, but since we can make white and black in such abundance, I kind of don't need them. But as soon as I get them, I'll add them to the farm. Wait a minute, what the hell is going on here? Why do I have eight of these? Ooh. Why are there eight blue flowers? Do these flowers spread? What the hell? <laughs> All right, so I may spread. need to... Um, they might spread. Do some pruning. I know other mods by this author have plants that spread, and I don't recall seeing a config option to turn that off for these, but... Yeah, what, I was wondering where the hell I got two purple flowers from. I thought I came up here with only one, but then I had two. I need at least two to plant them, but we're good. So, uh, I mean, my vision was to essentially have a rooftop farm uh, for, for flowers, and I guess I kind of have that now. It's gorgeous. So, anyway, thank you. So, let's head on down. Uh, most of this is unchanged, except Beth has taken her stuff, and she's moved out angrily. She stormed out. No, she's building she, her own compound somewhere. She should have left, like, a piece of coal here or something, as... Oh, like, stuck to the wall? Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> nothing really special has happened. Ah, uh, you know what? Sure, let's go out the f let's go out the front entrance so that I can really do the big reveal, my big archaeological accomplishment. So ah. this, the front of the house is pretty much the same, but you'll notice that I finally finished off all the concrete. Thank you. <laughs> I've actually put uh oh. colorized stripes around. What's up? Everything okay? Yeah, I love it. So yeah, I've added the orange and gray banding, mm -hmm. which I kind of like. Yeah. I think it, I think it looks okay. A little pops of color. Yeah. So I don't think the farm is any different from when you were here last time. Oh, except that I put fences and garden torches around. So this it's a little bit nicer. I kind of wanted to keep out the friggin- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Always no. 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 Well, Pretty anyway. Up. Pretty. Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. A-hole. Okay. Uh, so the farm's about the same as it's always been. Except I added fencing. Ooh. It, this is mostly to keep out the ocelots, but they still find ways in, and then they trample all over our goods, and yeah, whatever. Hey, your statue updated, and now it looks like your new skin. Hey, hey. Eat. All right, let's move on. Don't forget to close the gate behind you. Um, let's get out of the jungle because this is killing me. <laughs> so, 
Here is, here is the the big thing. Oh, there's a lot happening here. So, this is this is the machine shop finally. It's finally done. <laughs> well, mostly done. I mean, it still has. I still have more aesthetics to accomplish. Wait, wait, wait. But you should. Um, someone just went up into the stairs of. <laughs> I'm it's really a cat. glad I closed that gate. <gasps> oh yeah, ne he still got in. <sighs> Never mind. Hold on, I want to try something real quick. I know. You gonna try to? You gonna try killing it? No. I got fish. Hey, buddy. Like, is it raw? No. They're not gonna care if it's cooked. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's really having a party in here. All right, bud. All right. All right. Get out. Wow. Wow. All right, so that was useless. I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. It was worth a try. Ah, I need some raw fish. <laughs> yes. Such is life. All right. Sorry. So, anyway, back to this. Do you, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this firefly just flying in circles? And you're just gonna kill it. <laughs> I think you and Beth were cut from the same cloth. A violent cloth. Murderous rampage, twenty-four-seven. Twenty-four-seven. Yeah. Um. So. The 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 machine shop's done. It's like straight up done. It's beautiful. Wait, done? Done? Effectively done. <gasps> so I I made the smeltery just about as big as I care to. Okay. Yeah, this this anvil did not do what I wanted it to do, so I'm ignoring it. <laughs> this is a thing I just built right now. This is the a weather detector, and in the corner is a weather deflector. Wow. Um, okay. So you can actually see on this thing that there's a, a thunderstorm in that direction and a rainstorm in the opposite direction. Wait, how can you tell? Oh, oh. Isn't that cool? I mean, yeah, that's really cool. I need to find a better way to organize this, and there's a new rainstorm popped up over the ocean. Oh. I wish I could display maps on the ground, but I can't. Oh well. I'll figure something out. Like I would love to have this overlaid with an actual map. Yeah, that's uh, but really But in the meantime, cool. that's as that's as good as we got. And this is the weather deflector, so I think if any storm systems come too close, they just get canceled. Cool. I also want to build a tornado siren, but not yet. So if you'll follow me upstairs, I mean the smelter okay. is the smelter. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Uh. This is my new and renovated machine shop. Ooh, so technical. Dude, I had I built this all last night. I had so much fun doing it. But boy, was it tedious. Like the ceiling, making sure it was latticed enough so it didn't collapse on itself. Holy cow. It looks really cool though. So this is as streamlined and efficient as I could get all the machines and wires and pipes to be to do what I wanted them to do. So they're effectively doing the same thing as they used to, but... um. So, this corner is nonsense bullshit that I don't care about. I'm just gonna ignore it. Uh, this is just all my supplies in these chests and the like. But oh, the these real are the icons pole, you were talking about. Yeah, this is the stuff I was building right before we started recording. Those are just oh, gonna be so iconic representations. Those are actual items in there. So I just pick stuff that I don't really need, but that communicate exactly what they're supposed to be. <laughs> hmm. Uh, to give you an idea, you know, this is the stone chest here, and then this one's the machine chest, and then, you know, treasure and miscellany. But, the real joy is yet to come. What? what? First, let me check, what does it take to build an elevator? Oh, we need iron to build an elevator, which means we'll get to use the machine chain. But Ooh. first, follow me on out. I have built this new... Uh, structure. Oh. This is an evaporation tower. Mm -hmm. The point of this is that it collects um, rainwater and atmospheric moisture and condenses it into brine, which goes through this tank. It's constantly being piped out, so nothing accumulates in this tank, but trust me, brine is constantly moving through. Uh, wow. Brine is necessary because the sodium chloride can be separated into chlorine gas. And chlorine can be recombined. So recall that I was separating water into hydrogen and oxygen. 
Mm -hmm. The oxygen was in the purification chamber to triple ores. That was the whole point. But I, I had nothing to do with the hydrogen. So if you take that hydrogen and you recombine it with the, the chlorine that comes out of the salt, you can make hydrochloric acid. And hydrochloric acid, oh, ho, ho. well, I'll show you. Uh. Come on down here. I'll throw it in your face. Ugh. No. Yeah. So hydrochloric acid is piped out of, I think it's this pinkish pipe. And that winds up in the chemical injection chamber. That okay. quadruples ores. So let's go to sleep and then we can, in the morning, I'll show you how this thing works. All right. Okay, so we need, in order to build an elevator, we're gonna need four blocks of iron. Okay. Okay, so that is 36 iron, which means if I can quadruple ores, then all it takes is nine ingots and we can make 36 iron. Ooh. So I'm gonna give you some iron, uh, da, 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 nine. So first things first, you said you wanted torches. I made you a whole batch. Ooh, thank you. No problem. And here is nine iron for you. Okay. If you could, please place them into the chemical injection chamber and then step back and watch the show. Ooh. Ooh. Chemical injection chamber transforms these items into shards. The shards get piped into the purification chamber where they get turned into clumps. The clumps move to the crusher where they're crushed into dirty dust. Dirty dust enters the enrichment chamber to become um, purified dust. Purified dust just gets cooked by the smelter and gets dropped into the chest. Whoa. So one ore becomes four ingots. So if you put in nine, then we should get 36, and that will be enough to build us four blocks of iron. Now, these machines are fairly energy uh, costly, so the whole chain does slow down when I run out of latent energy, so... While we're waiting for that to finish off, I will build the remainder of what we need. Okay. And we need one glowstone block. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know if we have that, actually. We might not be able to go to the, the cave dimension if I don't have a glowstone block. Uh, let, me, let me check my nether supply box in the house. Okay, the bad news is I have no, I do not have the glowstone necessary. I'm trying to think if I have any and I, I don't, I don't. Well, I mean, that's, it's not so bad. Cause that means that rather than go to the cave dimension, we could just go to the nether. I'll All get right. the glowstone we can go to the cave dimension at some point. But that okay. sucks that I was too stupid to have remembered that. Hmm. Oh well, yeah. It's just missing one thing, weren't we? Two sexiness. Yep, yep, yep. All the sexiness <laughs> is upstairs. I need to build three diamond pick. You know what? I'll just I'll put together the friggin' elevator at some other point. All right. Um, but in the meantime, that means that we can go downstairs for the next step. Okay. So follow me into the basement. This is unfinished. <laughs> clearly, I might just put a glass over the top of it. I don't care. So, the downstairs hasn't changed too, too much, but I have fully completed the um, the nuclear reactor. So this, this is what's providing pretty much all the energy that's running the machines upstairs. Now, the issue that we run into upstairs is not that we're, uh, maybe it is we're out of energy. Um, so this chest in the front, if you put a uranium ingot in there, it'll get piped into the machine as fuel. Right. And as this thing converts, uh, burns through the uranium ingots, it'll turn them into technetium, which will come out of the output slot into this chest. Mm -hmm. 
Is there any in there? Yeah, there's five. Okay. I'll just leave that in there. Um, at some point, I'll, I'll purify that and turn it into plutonium. Ah, good drinky poop. So, the only thing that you haven't really seen is that uh, across the way here, this stairwell leads to essentially my big digging site. Um, I just go down there and I go haywire with my hammer. There's nothing super special down there. This leads directly down to bedrock, but that is where we would put the elevator to go to the sub cave. Uh, we right, can't achieve right. that yet, but... We are running out of new things for me to show you. So mm. that's cool. We're, we're leading eventually towards the goal. Now, before we leave here, this place, you said you needed a belt, right? Yes, please. And you have a knapsack? Yep. Okay. All right, let's head upstairs. There you go. Oh. There's your belt. Whoa. Pop that on in the same interface that you would your hand glove or your knapsack Bing. what is this other um icon above the, the, where the, the glove is the mask i think that is Ooh. i don't know no such thing exists that must have been a work in progress he never went through with oh well, that's sad but what about doesn't, the doesn't do stuff anything. on the side oh that? on the right side yeah um that is something i'm really looking really excited to tell you about these are permanent life upgrades. Oh. The top slot, you can put in a level one health upgrades. The middle is level two and the bottom is level three. And they get increasingly difficult to obtain. And you can have up to, I think, 10 of each. I was stupid in my last world. I thought you could only have one of each. But that means we can bolster our health, like, supremely. But oh. there is a key ingredient that we need to get even the lowest level. And that is necrotic bone, which we have to get in the nether. So this all leads toward okay. us towards the nether at some point. Okay. Oh okay. my god, Sarah. I just thought of something really important. Uh-oh. Before we leave this place, we're going to need a lot of bottled water. You can't pour water out of a bucket in the nether. It will just evaporate immediately. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a real bad time. What the hell's the glass? Oh, I've got all the glass on me. So I'm gonna make us some bottles and fill them with water so that we can, you know, hydrate okay. ourselves. I have a bunch of juice too. Juice will work. But not when you're not hungry. Drinking that will, drinking it will hydrate you slightly. Yeah, but you can't drink it unless you're hungry. Uh, yes, I, oh, that's right, that's true. But um, I now have bottled water and I have a lot more slot space than you do. Okay. I have 29 slots unlocked, so I'll hold oh, on yeah. to our water. Woo, all right. So I left the door open. Please close that when you come on out. All right, all right. Uh, so there's only a couple things left. I started an animal farm. I've had, I think you understand the woes I've had. Like I have yeah. been unable to get chickens and any chickens I get, I think are getting killed by the ocelots. So I need to think of a new solution to that. Yeah. Um, so while we're waiting for the sun to set, I've got this new tank device here. Ooh. And uh, I built this with the purpose of showing it off to you guys, but I just wound up needing it too <laughs> too quickly. So this is the... Uh, remember that my, my smelter used to be a concrete basin. Mm -hmm. So in here, you can line the floor. There's 64 blocks in there. You can line it with an entire stack of concrete dust. And if you pull the lever... Ah! <laughs> it drops water uh. and that will convert it all into solidified concrete That's so awesome so you could just close this up pull the switch i i said don't touch get permission because i had dust in there but uh you guys weren't around for the holidays <laughs> it still makes it more fun to to uh not have permission and pull the lever yeah but now it doesn't matter uh. look out there's rykos um, I also caught a new chocobo, and she helped me find flowers for the flower garden. So this one, I actually put thatching and a, uh, a cauldron, and I think that's the reason why she hasn't died yet. Like, she's been fairly successful. Hey, girl, hey. How you doing, girl? <laughs> so I guess this is going to wind up being my chocobo farm, because I'm going to try breeding them. You can breed the mutated colorized versions, and they do have 
they, if for nothing else, they're faster. Oh, really? Yeah, but they do have added powers. Hmm. There's a creeper off oh, in the hey, distance, creeper. so watch yourself. Okay, now the last thing, and this is perfect if we're going to the nether, this is the big thing, is right up here. Our Festivus pole. Yeah, I was gonna say something about it. It's there, it's there. Oh, you know what I just remembered? I have a special Christmas oh, gift. Oh, Jesus I... Christ. You take care of him, I'll take care of the creeper. Where is he? Ready Big up. Bird. Major uh, drama. Drama llama. Whoa! I got him in one hit. Whoa. Oh, but then you got a demon on you, I see. Yeah, he that, that kicked his ass, man. Wasn't even close. Ah! Oh, killed it! Yeah, man, I, I rock through day. <sighs> now I got bullshit in my inventory, so I really feel like I need to go drop this crap off before we go. All right. Damn it. I have a gift. A gift? Yeah, a gift. Are you still in the same place? Yeah. Okay, so get this. Um... In order to build the rooftop dome, I know that I can build a, a hologram projector that projects shapes, and I can make it project a sphere so that I can it will tell me where the place blocks to make the dome shape. Mm -hmm. In the middle of making that, I built circuitry, and I made an achievement for making the circuitry, but that included <laughs> down a tree. That included this thing. It's called a little something, and I got rewarded to it for building machinery around Christmas time. Oh. Which is very strange. Oh. Hold control for... Uh, so the description says, A little something for your troubles. Open this present for a chance to receive some... And then it has obfuscated glitch text. Oh. Craft open computer's items when the time is right for a chance to receive a present. So I think because it was near the Christmas time, time right. I got me a present. Yeah. Weird luck, right? So I'm going to open this, but based okay. on our experience in the past, I'm going to get... I'm going to open it far away from the house. All right, are we ready to open this damn thing? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, brace yourself. Three, two, one, open. Oh, I got a floppy disk. Floppy disk, is that all? Uh, yeah. I guess the oh. creator of this mod isn't as sadistic as the creator of Lycanite's <laughs> mod. All right, let's head on up to my last thing Heard that I've been like teasing for so long before, you know, craziness happened. So, I'm very proud of this. This is the coolest thing I've ever made. Uh, this this turned out pretty much exactly as I as I've envisioned it. This walkway that leads to the summit of Howling Mountain, which oh, is what I've named beautiful. it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love your terracotta blocks. Yes, so that's in my mod. So I backported that to this deprecated server version because I loved the idea of the patterning. So beautiful. Now it's cold up here. So let's not stand outside too long. Oh, also, it's worth mentioning that I got inspired to make these lanterns from you because I visited your base and uh, I found that you'd crafted some of these. Oh yeah, yeah, I love my- Strangely enough. Uh-oh. What's up, dog? Some of your stairway is, uh, <laughs> is a big chunk error for me. <laughs> oh no. Well, can you see these skulls? Yeah, I can. Okay, all right, is this a problem? No, I don't think so. Here? I don't think so. Okay, so this is, uh, this is my, I love the walkway and I love this stupid thing. So it's this beautiful. is the death pyramid. The death pyramid. And remember that I, oh, it's snowing. Yay. Can Aww, you see the snow? It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm so glad that uh, the weather mod got updated recently, even for 1.7.10. Oh man. I'm yeah. I'm happy about that. Because we couldn't see the snow before. No, I never noticed it, but apparently Koros did. So now here's the, here's the story. I'm not experienced with redstone, but I did manage to make it so this thing will open up using redstone machinery. 
Uh, spent better part of a day figuring that out. But there is a secret hidden switch that will open up the mouth. And the hint that I can give you, because otherwise you, you won't be able to figure it out, uh, is it's one of the torches on one of these columns is a secret lever. Is right clickable. Hey, there it is. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that leads right down into a chunk air. Oh, beautiful. Oh, uh, well, I can see it. Um, can you at least see the two by three never nether portal straight ahead? No, it cuts off perfectly right there. That is so inconvenient that it hurts. <laughs> so log out of the server All and right. log back in. All right. I'll be ready to go to sleep uh, to help save you <laughs> if it's nighttime. <laughs> All right. So I'll explain to the audience. So you got a glance of what's in here. It's pretty much exactly what you saw. Peace, peace, peace. But um, I made this as like foreboding as I could as I could make it look. I didn't want just a a boring ordinary the fuck? nether portal room. So I want to make fantastically deep moat lining the outside. If you fall in, you suffer hypothermia pretty quickly because we're up here and it's really cold. Mm -hmm. I guess this is generally a warning to you. Don't suffer hypothermia. <laughs> I'll do my best. Okay, great. Also, it is cold as shit up here. I'm logging in. Okay. I will watch you materialize out of nowhere. Hey, there you are. Hey! I happen ah, to be pointed geez. right at your butt. <laughs> and there you are. It's the best feature. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Haven't fully. So I, I, yet. I know it takes a while. To, yeah, it takes a while to load. I'm, I'm fully aware. But I'll be here to defend you. So while I was building this thing, this place is inhospitable. I've seen almost no life up here. One chocobo did come around, and that's what inspired me to go catch another one. I couldn't find the one that got up here, but oh, I did yeah. find Lilith. <laughs> I see a horse over there. <laughs> Yeah, horses are over on the other mountain, but nothing comes over here. Except one creeper found his way up and entered this mouth while I was working in there. <laughs> and since I had no place to distract him from, he just kind of blew up in the center. But luckily, he didn't damage too much. If he damaged the terracotta, uh, that would have been the worst, because I didn't have any backup. But are you ready for your nether adventure? Oh my god. No. I'll warn you. It's, it's mega deadly. Okay. Um, I'm inclined to, I should have made beds in here so that if we died, you cannot, in case you don't know this, you cannot bring beds into the nether. If you try putting them down, if you right click on one to go to sleep, it will explode and kill you. Whoa, really? Yes, and this also applies to pretty much any dimension you can, almost every dimension you can visit has that problem. Whoa. So don't do it when you're on the moon, don't do it in the end, just don't do oh. it. Alright, okay. Well, I'm going to go in, and here's my plan, straight away. I'm going to start, as soon as we get in there, I'm going to start building us a shelter. Like, I'm going to completely surround us with a basic okay. cobblestone structure. Okay. I'm chiseling, I'm chiseling up some now so that at least it looks nice. I got a bunch of wood planks. Don't know if that'll be helpful, but I guess anything that we could use won't hurt. Oh, I have food, I have water. Yeah, let's go to sleep. I have food, I have water. Star um, I've got materials to build around us. And maybe I should just go in and let you know if it's... Should we go in together? I don't know. Yeah, we should go in together. All right, are we ready then? Oh, shit. Let's do it. So on account of three, let's step in. And just, we All have right. to wait in there a couple seconds. You ready? Okay. Got my sword out. Three, two, one. Holla! Ah! 